Hello and welcome to I Am Geek, and this is episode 171. I'm Ryan, I'm joined by my brother Chris and our good pal Katrin, and tonight he's back again. The man, the myth, the legend, Omega from CrimsonDawn.com is back. How are you doing tonight, Omega? Glad to be here overall. <laughs> uh, I'm doing great. How about you guys? We're doing good. Doing good. Well, lovely. <laughs> 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 now, Chris, you were not here the last time that we had Omega on, so this is no. You wouldn't let me on. Well, <laughs> you you were embarrassed by me. <laughs> I don't. You're think like that's... I I need to make a good impression on this guy. He's big time. <laughs> you need to not be here. <laughs> I don't think that. Hey, was at least tell you that you're saber. Yes. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> He swings it around all the time mm-hmm. at his wife. Yep. No, no, it's it's the other defense, way around in it's the fence. In defense yeah. of my wife, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's throwing stuff at me, and I'm blocking it with yeah. the lights, and it holds up, right? <laughs> it, holds it holds up. up. It's great. Yeah, exactly. I have a lot less bruises thanks to Crimson Dog. <laughs> <laughs> you can not everyone you can, can say that. Yeah, you can use that <laughs> yeah. on on any of your product <laughs> lines. <laughs> But it's um, probably the opposite because, like, people that <laughs> actually do the 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 battling, you know, they they end up with bruises. <laughs> yeah. That's the bad thing. We had some missing teeth before too. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so if you don't know, Crimson Dawn sells lightsabers, and that's what we're going to talk about today. And yes, my I, my daughter is like she's three, and I've let her hold mine, and she's hit me a couple times with it, and it's not fun. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Maybe I'll take the blade out of it that you hold it. <laughs> <laughs> but she just goes, pretty, pretty, pretty. Well, you got to get her your own. We can cut the blades down to any length. Oh, there, there we go. go. Oh. Baby's first lightsaber. Baby's first lightsaber. <laughs> That's what we need. I've been kidding. My wife, um, my wife, it started when we were dating. Um, we did, I did the 12 days of Christmas for her where she got like a gift for every day of the 12 days of Christmas day. And I said, this year, I want it 12 days of Christmas. And kidding around. Because she always goes, that's my thing. I'm like, I want it. She's like, what would I do for 12 days of Christmas for you? And I said, how about 12 days of lightsabers? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got you covered. Yeah. <laughs> she said, I don't know. How would you do that? I'm like, oh, there's ways. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many things. There's so many We're just gonna things. get a bunch of little Lego lightsabers. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That'd work. So let's get some colored toothpicks and be like, here you go. <laughs> I don't know. So you may be getting a call. I don't know if she'll actually do she it. She may have thought you said lifesavers. Yeah. Oh, just man. yeah. So. <laughs> Foiled again. <laughs> oh well. But I thought to to for the people that don't know of your product, uh, we could go through the different sort of categories because you have a few different categories of lightsabers, and we could go through so that way when they go on your website crimsondawn.com, um, it will help them understand um, the different levels, I guess if you want to call that, of your lightsabers. Um, so you have pretty much three, three, three levels, three different kinds of lightsabers. Um. I'm not sure if three is the right number, but that's a good place to start. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a that's a that's a great segue. So so um, we have uh, three different electronics in the board. Yeah, they that's the, yeah. different boards. Yeah, um, which are broken up into different tiers depending on how much money you want to spend. Um, so our 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 baselet savers are are you know your most common. That that is a um, an LED uh, nine watt RGB LED that shines up a polycarbonate tube with the diffusion film. Uh, all of our sabers have uh, sound, flash on clash, blaster deflect, lock up, uh, anywhere from six to nine sound fonts, um, and in hilt recharge, most of them do. And, uh, and, and baselet is, is, you know, still industry standard. So that comes in most of our saber designs um, from our, you know, sabers that started 79 bucks and go up to, 300 bucks, you can get them in a base slit. Um, the next technology we have is, is NeoPixel, which is um, essentially the same. Uh, it's the same soundboard as our base slit board. Uh, you know, the same functions, the same everything, uh, except it 
has a NeoPixel uh, LED driver uh, and powers a Pixel string blade. Um, and the Pixel string blade has usually 144 LEDs on either side. Uh, it's much brighter. Instead of casting light outwards uh, or, or upwards, it casts light out, um, kind of lights up a room. Um, a different type of technology, so it's a lot heavier blade too. But um, but again, those two do the same thing. Um, just one's a little brighter, and it also brings scroll. You can scroll now with the uh, with the NeoPixel versus the EFX. And then our highest tier would be the Profi savers. Uh, you know the Profi board. Um, ours are running 2.2 with OS version 4.8 at the time of filming this video. Uh, we ship with a few different default configs. We're currently developing our own config, and that is kind of the, um, I don't want to say it's new, it's, it's been on the market a long time, but, you know, it's uh, it's very customizable. Um, it, it works really well out of the box. Our default configs are, are really nice. Um, they're all RGB. Um, you can program different effects. You can drop the, you know, sound fonts on the, on the on an SD card, but the programming is, is a little bit more difficult uh, then you would think it's not something that you just uh, jump into. Um, you need to watch a little bit of YouTube to, to make sure it's within your skill set. And you got to access the board and, you know, hit it with a micro USB and a couple other things. But it's, it's very possible. And um, it's super bright and you can get a lot cooler effects. I got some behind me I can show you guys. Cool. Um, I don't know what they'll do on this microphone, but <laughs> so I can actually demo... Most of them. So I got this one in front of me. This is our uh, this is our newest soundboard. It's not quite out yet. This is a prototype. All right. And this is a uh, this is a baselet saver. This will be our uh, new baselet driver and our new um, NeoPixel driver, uh, non profi Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's got you know similar effects. See here. Uh, we have a Vader inspired font, and this is a uh, smooth swing. Um, so on all of our boards going forward, probably first or second week in next month, hopefully all of our boards going forward will, will be smooth swing. Uh, we'll start releasing smooth swing this week, even on our seventy nine, eighty nine, ninety nine dollar savers. Oh, wow. Those will all be smooth swing. You can kind of tell with the. Uh, so basically, for for those that don't know, smooth swing is basically how you when you swing the saber, it sort of copies your your movement, or your the sound matches your movement. Real time pitch modulation. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. so basically, um, it's right now um, on our current sabers uh, and most sabers, whenever you swing the saber, um, you get a yes or a no. It, when the accelerator or accelerometer moves, it says yes, we've moved, and it plays a sound. And that's generally a swing sound. With smooth swing, you, you have different pitches um, and you have different volumes. So I can show you a lot better on uh, this. Yeah. This is nice. It's got just a wall of lightsabers for those that are just listening. <laughs> Gotcha. Yeah, so this is the this is the actual profi saber here. Um, uh, again, it does a lot of stuff. Let me. This is the this is the coolest one. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, so this cool. is like a rainbow effect. Everybody gets a kick out of this. Oh. Um. Yeah. This is a flaming blade. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. really cool. And you turn it upside down, and flames won't go upside what? down. So. Oh, <laughs> that's really cool. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, this is uh, definitely one you want to watch on YouTube. It'll, <laughs> it'll cool. save me some, yeah, some money from light user. flames and going around. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So,
So will, will these like for for those that like to fight with their lightsabers? Can you duel with these? Yes. Um, yeah. So so we, we actually uh, got Shane and Steve Ludwig down from Saber Force Academy and, and a cat named Oliver uh, from Kyber Knights uh, to the shop out here one night with our. We didn't do it with the proppies. We did it with our our, our normal NeoPixel saber, and, and we did some some dueling and and to our chagrin. Uh, they held up really well. We, we expected them uh, to hold up really well, but but due to the technology, I expected there to be. I, I didn't think anyone was going to break anything, but with the NeoPixel, when you strike the ground, uh, I call them a light primer strike, or, or sometimes just a really hard whack. Um, you're basically uh, let me see here. You have a PCB uh, yeah. making contact with pins. So any time. You're doing some hard wax. This PCB can break um, contact, so I expected there to be a little bit of flickering um, and, and things like that. We had, hmm. you know, and we we didn't do a, a lot of crazy edits or anything. These guys fought for six or seven minutes, which in 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 the world of fighting is an eternity. And um, <laughs> yeah. at, at one point, uh, I think Oliver hit the ground, caused his saber to uh, the blade to go off. He hit the button, it powered right back up, and they went at it. Other than that, we had no issues. I mean, it, it was great. And I, I've, you know, I've seen these things duel a few other times since then. And um, I think the days of like dead pixels and stuff are over. Uh, that used to be a common issue is dead pixels. Um, but, you know, neither duel worthy. I, I haven't seen anything that leads me to believe otherwise. Uh, I've heard some stories, but, but I've heard stories, you know, with pretty much every saver. I've seen um, I've seen mid grade saber blades last uh, you know one fighter you know a year and I've seen a heavy grade blade last another fighter a day so you know some of the <laughs> but I've seen them with my own eyes I, I think you can do with these things I don't see why not cool now cool. as far as practicality goes um, they do add a significant amount of weight um, hmm. generally you know we carry lighter hilts to begin with. Um, so when you put the heavy NeoPixel blades in, you can throw some balance off. Uh, a lot of the people that are fighting with our sabers will add multiple extensions. Mm-hmm. I got something up here. See if I can get this down without breaking everything. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, 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 it's gonna oh, careful, <laughs> careful, careful, careful. <laughs> yeah, I got this oh, guy wow. here. This Whoa. is just a, you know, it's like a baseball bat. They would fight with this. But this is similar, like, so, so some of these guys will have sabers that are, you know, That's literally wild. every bit of every bit of this long to try to get the balance back on these uh, on these NeoPixels. Yeah. The blade weighs as much as the hilt. Uh, we don't have a pommel heavy enough right now um, to kind of balance that out. So, so you do need a you do, you do need a significantly longer hilt. Um, if balance is what you're going for, so I want to see um, somebody yes. carry that hilt around on their on their belt. <laughs> that one right here is actually this one right here. Uh, we actually kind of just threw together um, uh, for the Renaissance Festival. The, the, the fire, the, there's lots of uh, uh, fire artists that, yeah. that, that spin different things. Like some of them are on chains. Okay. And um, last year we talked to some to get them to spin some savers. But the problem with spinning sabers is there's no good handholds. So I put this guy together. This is actually, uh, you know, it, it's double bladed, um, but it's designed so uh, you know one of those guys at, at the at the fair could twirl lightsabers, cool. throw it up, and do the catches and the spins and all that cool stuff. Yeah. That was the can, arranged out behind that. I think you can also stick that in your car steering wheel, and no one can steal your car. <laughs> sure. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, Chris. This is why we didn't have you on last time. I, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> All the jokes. All the jokes. I also saw that you have um, a section of the website that is basically saber parts, where you can get extra parts. You can. Uh, can you? Can you pretty much, if you went to that page, like build your own lightsaber with all the parts? Very much can, and uh, probably not supposed to talk about it oh. on this podcast, but. Uh, we're actually releasing a, a saber builder very, very soon. Oh. Um, we have a little bit more framework to do uh, right now. I was hoping to have it done this week, but uh, I've hit a few snags and delays. 
And uh, hopefully within the next uh, week or two, we'll have our own, you know, build your own saber option where you can go and pick your your midsection and your emitter and your pommel and your extensions and your electronics. And, you know, you know, we build the saber here in the shop for you and send it out. That's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. Then you will become a true Jedi because you build, you know, that's one of the things build your own saber so that's that's cool because yeah i was looking yeah. on that saber parts so i'm like yeah you could like get one of this and get one of this and sure put it all together uh, so that's really cool now is it said that um efx saber parts so will that only work with the the ones that are the inhale not at all so um right now with the exception of our movie stuff um most everything is a drop-in so, okay. like, if you look if you look at the shade, um, you can take your shade, and it has a EFX core in it right now. We we have cores on the website, so so your shade has an EFX core in it. You can buy a, a NeoPixel core and a NeoPixel blade, and just drop that in, or you can buy a Profi core and a NeoPixel blade, and just drop that in with the Profi. Uh, a lot of our sabers will require an extension, um, which is this little guy here, this little piece right here. I uh, this one's on the front, but mo- you'll you'll need it on the back. In, in most uh, instances, on the profi, because the pro- our profi chassis is a, about an inch and a half longer. But um, the, the button configurations are all the same, and they just drop in. That's mm-hmm. cool. That's cool. yeah, that's really cool. Um, you also sell blade plugs, which is basically something you put in the blade um, if you don't have the the blade. In. You put in the hilt. <laughs> put in the hilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of the blade. Yeah. Something for like cosplay. This here's a Neo Pixel Blade plug, so we have those on the website. Oh, cool! Too. Oh, cool! Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then you have crates. You have actual like yes crates. You can store the lightsabers in and sort of display them, which is really really cool. Uh, just like in the movies. So we've been working with a lot of um, um, artisans, I guess you would say, that make uh, that make a lot of stuff by hand. So we've been getting a lot of small batch stuff in. So, so our uh, our, our crates, um, or you know, or storage cases, those are all handmade by a guy from the community. Um, we're we're working on. Um, I, I got a gal right now making scarves, uh, Yoda scarves. It's got like ears on it, and it goes down. And when you wrap your, around your face, and you know, it's like crocheted scarves, scarves, and, and dice bags, and um, these here. Uh, uh, we got leather handles, uh, leather wraps oh, that we're cool. making. This is kind of a quick way to hang it on your belt. These just clip on your belt. That's cool. Um, all of this stuff, these here are actually made here in Crimson Dawn uh, by uh, a friend of ours that's a leather worker. Uh, here we got a sword frog. Uh, that's oh, cool. You can see that. Oh, that's oh, cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's just cool. whatever we can do to kind of change right. up and get some more yeah. people involved and yeah. you know, kind of grassrootsy type stuff. That's cool. Yeah. It's, it's cool that you, you reach out to other people and you, you, uh, this shows what you do for the community, the, the star Wars lightsaber community. That's really cool. Yeah. I have a, uh, I've been making, I still been making Kyber crystals. So I've got one that's releasing tomorrow. So I'm excited about it. Okay. Yeah. Well, you need a place to sell them. Yeah. Let me know. We'll put them up on the website. There we go. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, we'll have to talk. We'll have to talk about that. Sure. Yeah, I'll show you some of mine later. I'll, I'll send you some pictures. Um, yeah, I think we need, I think, guys, we need to, like, design an I Am Geek lightsaber. I think that's what we need. There you go. I'll mm. build it. You design it. Um, uh-huh. we, we're actually community sourcing uh, a lot of our stuff. Um, so like, the sound fonts that you guys are hearing. Um, those were all created by, by a guy named, uh, Cameron. He's from the community. Uh, we did a little contract with him and, and he built the, these are all Crimson Don sound bonds. You know, um, hmm. I think he, we, we got nine or 10 made for us. Um, custom just for, for our stuff. Uh, we're working on some, some designs. We got a couple of guys that are doing some, uh, custom hilt designs for us that we want to make out, uh, that we want to make. Um, probably won't be till 2021 now. Yeah. But we're trying to get some done. Um, we have some rapid prototyping stuff that, that I'm probably not allowed to talk about here. Um, <laughs> but uh, hopefully we'll be able to make a, a good prototype on on a new machine 
Um, by the end of this year, um, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Um, uh, but yeah, we, you know, let me know what your design is. Yeah. And when you light it up, it can say the fresh maker. <laughs> That's from a bunch of our episodes. Definitely or. do that. <laughs> or, yeah. It's just us making the lightsaber sounds. That's yeah. all. We all feel Blade hit. Blade hit. Blade hit. Blade hit. That's cool. I mean, Chris, I think, I mean, you're a designer. <laughs> we got we to gotta come up with our I Am Geek lightsaber. I think that would be really cool. I want... I want Chris to do the sound font. Yes. <laughs> I want plate hit, plate hit, plate hit. Yes. Yeah, plate hit, plate hit. <laughs> that would be so cool. Swoosh. <laughs> Swoosh. But you could. We have for our ha- for our Halloween episodes. We had a he did a, a guest host. Basically, he did a puppet of the skeleton. You could have like a, a skele host font. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the sky is the limit with the probably board. We can make any font you want. <laughs> oh, we got we we're gonna work on this, <laughs> Chris. You're coming down here this weekend for your birthday, so we're, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna lock you in my office and be like, design a lightsaber. <laughs> just like that's all you're doing. I come down. Yeah, happy birthday! Design me a lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned that you have um, on your site you have some movie hilts. Which uh, which hilts do you have from the movie? Oh, we have Obi Wan. We have Luke. We have Anakin. Uh, we have Leia. We have Vader. Um, oh, you got um from the video game. Uh, oh yeah, 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 the Fallen Order. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Fallen Jedi. Oh, yeah. Fallen Order. We have names for everything that I probably should be using for legal reasons. Yeah, but yes, <laughs> yeah. That, if I used our names, you wouldn't know what I was talking about. But yeah, <laughs> that Leia one is is top notch. It looks really cool, and Obi Wan. No, it is. Um, one of my favorites is probably the Defiant um, because you can you can actually duel duel with the Defiant. Oh, that's um, cool. The you know like the Obi Wan and the, and the Luke and the uh, and the and the, the Leia are, are thin neck sabers, and they're not great for dueling yeah. like, you're not going to break them but they, they'll get blade wobble anything with a thin neck uh the, the emitters are not overly deep because we try to keep them looking as close to uh as close to the movie as possible so you know they're, they're not the, the most dual worthy savers and then when you get into the the ones that have deeper emitters typically like the uh like the vader and the uh and the graflex again you know they're they're like holding an ultra savers, you know. Yeah. They're it's like a mag light. You you don't want to duel with it. It's it's they're really really <laughs> thick, uh, real girthy, uh, not super not super wieldy. But but the fallen order, you know, it's it, it's 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 pretty nice. Hmm. Oh, we lose you? No, oh, no, we're, we're all here. <laughs> Are you? I lost Omega. He's oh, still we here. see him. No, no, I can't <laughs> hear him. Oh, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Oh, we there we can. can. Now I can. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened Ryan on my end. Sorry. Hearing loss sometimes. No, okay. I just had a technical difficulty <laughs> on my end. <laughs> it was just on my end. I Stupid think. COVID messing up everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it's cool to, uh, yeah, that. Um, that you do have the the movie uh, the replicas. It's it's really cool that you have those. Inspired by the movie. Inspired by. Inspired by. Yeah. Yes, inspired. I'm gonna do something here. Okay, I think my ear, my headphones got messed up. I couldn't hear, oh. hear you guys. Mm. Anyways, <laughs> so do you have? Do, I think I've asked you this before, but now you have new sabers. And do you have a favorite? Do I have a favorite? That's a tough one. <laughs> I like uh, I like I like most of everything we have. Um, my tried and true is, is probably the shade, which is not much to write home about. It's a very simple saber that we've been carrying pretty much since day one. But uh, anytime 
someone asks, uh, "Hey, I want a saber that's inexpensive, and I, I you know, I want to be dueling with it." The shade. Uh, hey, I want to do flow arts, and I don't want a lot of places that I can get my hand caught. Like the shade. Yeah. What would look really good in a in a staff? It's the shade. But, <laughs> you know, so it, it's real hard to get away from that. But uh, yeah, that that's probably my all time favorite. Uh, I, I am I am kind of partial to the the Graflex that, that that we have, uh, especially at our price. It's a, it's a really nice saber. I've gotten overly familiar with them because. Uh, we had a back order on them, and for the most all of this week, I have been uh, putting them together and flashing sound fonts on them, and uh, I have touched more than I like to uh, like to, to talk about. And I feel like I have Stockholm syndrome now, <laughs> and I, I love the Graflex. Uh, I've I've just been my last four days, so it's an amazing saber. That's cool. cool. Um. So, do you have anything you want to uh, talk about for the upcoming sort of Christmas holiday season, or is it all still under wraps? It's still mostly under wraps. We're, we're going to do a, a really, a really good uh, Black Friday sale. Uh, I don't want to say how good because you'll stop buying stuff now. <laughs> and, and I, have, I have a week to go, and, uh, and then we'll just have to, you know, we'll have to eat chicken noodle soup all week. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, we, we are going to do a, we are going to do a pretty big, uh, Black Friday thing. Um, I haven't looked past Black Friday because all we've been looking at is Black Friday. So there'll probably be some Black Friday, Cyber Monday stuff, but we'll offset them to make them a little different, um, kind of thing. But that's, that's about as far as our horizon goes, because cool. I have a feeling that it will both be a blessing and a nightmare, depending <laughs> which end yeah. of it you're looking at. Yeah. Um, I think Cyber Monday after Black Friday for us is just going to be like working in a prison camp. But uh, <laughs> but that's okay. That's you know that's wishful thinking, I guess. Um, but but I we, we do plan on on going pretty deep in on on Black Friday. Cool, awesome. Well, I'm looking nice. forward to seeing what it's gonna what it's gonna be. Um, I'm trying to think, you guys got any questions? You got. But you guys had some new ones. Uh, I got some emails recently from you guys. Uh, some new sabers that came out. We've been releasing a saber every week for the yeah. better part of a yeah. month, month and a half. It's kind of uh, just oh. we're trying to stay current and relevant and in front of people. And um, so we staggered some of our releases. I started doing some really uh, poorly edited uh, YouTube videos once a week, talking to the folks about where things are and, and how things are going and just kind of like a little state of the galaxy type uh, thing. And uh, I've started making a few little tutorial videos to, you know, troubleshooting tips and things like that. And um, yeah, we're just trying to, we're just trying to stay out there. So every week I, we might have just released the last one that we have. No, no, we could have something next week too. Awesome. Yeah, every week uh, we're going to be uh, doing a release. Yeah. I think I think the latest one that I got an email was the Regent, which looks pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. the Regent's awesome. Nice. Yeah, it sort of has like a diamond cutout. Um, looks like it. Yeah, I was trying to find the email. I don't know where it went. <laughs> I'm glad you guys subscribed to the newsletter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. we gotta keep up with it. <laughs> you, and you gotta check out the Facebook group too. I know Ryan's yep. in the Facebook group. Oh the yeah. Facebook, the Facebook group is awesome. Uh, it, it is growing. I, it's hard. I'm going to go broke giving stuff away for it because, uh, <laughs> you know, we started it and um, within like 24 hours, we had 100 members. And like a week, we had 200 members. And like two weeks, three. And uh, we're sitting at 600 members and uh, the group's barely a month old. And, you know, every, every week it adds another 100, 150 members. And it's awesome. And I, I've been doing something for the little milestones. Um, uh, you know, permanent coupon codes and things like that that are embedded in the group, so you can kind of you know take advantage of some of that stuff. And um, but yeah, it's 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 a, it's a great community. Um, I, I'm in I'm in all the lightsaber communities, and I'm always floored. You know, when I, I see a group that has twenty thousand people in it, and I look at you know how many new posts were today and how many new comments were today, yeah. and then I go look at our little tiny group. And it's, you know, we had more, more posts and more activity and, 
Um, yeah. it, it's just awesome. I, I love it. I'm, I'm checking it every day, and it's, it's a great place to be. That's cool. I think if you just yeah. search for Crimson Dawn on Facebook, it should pop yes. up. Yeah, it should I, pop up. I, I had to double check. I am, I am liking it. <laughs> double check. Because, yeah, I remember, yeah, then, then I saw this, I remember seeing it before the Darksaber. Yes. You sold out of that one pretty fast, didn't you? Well, I have about six hours. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And and it'll it'll be back in stock real soon. And and we've also uh we've also partnered up with a cat named Gary Ripper, uh from Ripper Blades that a lot of people know and love. Uh he makes acrylic flat blades like the Dark Saber. And um, you know, we, we partnered up with him and, and we're doing some stuff with him. We'll be carrying Ripper Blades on the website, uh hopefully next week. I was I was hoping this week, but it looks like, you know, as as we we're burning the midnight oil on uh on, on Thursday, it doesn't look like it'll be this week, but but hopefully uh, uh, next week uh, we'll have Ripper blades, uh, some dark saber blades, and things like that to go with the with the dark sabers. That's cool because with the Mandalorian season two out now, I mean I'm sure that as soon as you get them in, they're just going to oh, sell out. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Uh, I when we 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 posted them and I, there was like comment on the post it was like uh it was like an hour or two old and it was like this is crap like i just saw this post and i went to the website and it says sold out and i was looking at the post and i was like well there's no way that can be and i went to the website and was like yeah nope, nope they're all gone you know i had to go, go take yeah I, we, 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 I had people messaging me like some of our you know i guess diehards the, the little messenger text me like you gotta put me one aside so i was like Going to the little photo booths and stuff that we have, and any of them that we're putting together still, or any of them that we're you know laying around that for some other purpose that we were going to do a demo with or something, I was writing people's names on them because they're, 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 they're just gone. Yeah, <laughs> we're not going to let that happen again. I, I should I should be able to keep up. Cool, nice. <laughs> have you been watching the uh, season two of The Mandalorian? Religiously. Yeah. What do you think uh, so far? It's better than the movies. <laughs> Great. For sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> new one. yeah. No, no, no. It's great. I, I love it. Uh, my wife and I, friends, we, we all get together and watch it. It's it's a great show. Uh, I can't say enough good things about it. Yeah, yeah. It's it's hard because it's releasing like it, like for us, Central Time, like two in the two in the morning or something like that. So like the next day or the day, so tomorrow basically. I have to stay off of all social media, everything, because people like immediately post the spoilers. So that's people like to watch it as soon as it comes out. Mm-hmm. So I'm lucky. We, we do the uh, we do the Texas Renaissance Festival. We set up and we use, we have tables. Uh, we have a big campsite out there, and we show off the sabers and stuff, and people come out and duel with them in the campgrounds um, uh, every weekend in October and November. If you're in Texas here, it's a huge thing. It's right down the road from where we're at. The shops here in Montgomery, the Texas Renaissance Festivals in um, in uh, Plannersville. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I was say we're turning off. <laughs> you know, the, the Texas Renaissance Festivals here in Plannersville, uh, we set up out there and, and talk to people and, and put sabers in people's hands and stuff. And um, it's massive. There's There's thousands of people. So what happens is, Friday evening, I pretty much lose cell service until Sunday because there's so many people, you know, 30,000, 40,000 people in one spot pinging hmm. a, a a cell tower meant for a town of like 1,200. So, <laughs> right. you know, my, my cell phone pretty much doesn't work. So I don't have to worry about Mandalorian spoilers. We, we watch it Sunday night when we get back uh, from camp and uh, no harm, no foul. There you go. There you go. Well, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I'm hoping, you know, we'll we'll have another great episode. I'm sure there will be. But I always feel like they're too short. It's like all of a sudden it's over. You're just yeah. like, really? No. Like, oh, mm-hmm. more. Yeah. yeah. So when Ahsoka makes her appearance, it's you know, I'm sure that's going to drive up some some more sales for you guys. Um, Try to be ready. She, she's definitely on our radar, and we have some big things um, with that. And when we get there, we'll probably have to do another show just for that. Yeah. Mm. Some of the ideas that, that we have uh, with that are going to warrant 
warrant another another one of these shows. I think. There we go. Uh, we love we love supporting you. We love doing all we can to get your name out there because to me, you're the best lightsaber company out there. Customer service is you know top notch. Uh, shipping is super fast. Just so everybody knows, like you'll order it and then you'll get it uh, by the next week at the latest. Um, and then customer service, like I said, you have a problem. Omega is going to solve it for you. Uh, so don't check out the hook. Check out the, the hook on the DJ revolves it. <laughs> oh, did I, did I go into an old '90s rap there? A little bit, yeah. Oh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you mean go into some more uh, vanilla ice for you? That's okay. That's <laughs> no, okay. No, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> I can only think of one other song of vanilla. This is sort of off the subject. The vanilla ice did. Besides, no, he did two. I can think of the turtle one. Then yeah. He did yeah, Ninja t- Rap, and then he yeah. did one that I still to this day have no idea what it was about. What's it like having a Roni? Tenderoni? No, well, that's a different. Having a Roni. No, have a <laughs> that's only that's only three songs I can remember from them. Uh, anyway, sorry. <laughs> you started it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, so yeah. So I'll 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 make sure that my wife has your uh, inf- info for for yeah. Christmas time. <laughs> Twelve days. Twelve days. Twelve days. Twelve days. Twelve days. Now that would be a cool thing to do. Um, a 12 days of Christmas where each day you get a different part of the lightsaber. And then by the end of the 12 days, you could put it all together and have your full lightsaber. There you yeah, go. You get some of the leather products. And- yeah. Sure. That would be a cool Christmas set. I'm just giving, I'm just going to give that to you. That's a free. <laughs> <laughs> tell, you, tell your wife, she could be our guinea pig. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You'll know that me and her are talking. If on day one, you get a blade plug. <laughs> yes. <laughs> day two you get set screws yeah <laughs> that would be sort of cool though wouldn't it i mean that would be cool the, a tw- yeah, the anticipation 12, 12 oh, days yes. of christmas or 12 days of lightsabers and it's just like every day you get a piece of the lightsaber and by the end you become the full jedi with your lightsaber that's cool i like it, I like it. yeah I like final it. day it can be the blade so it lights up yeah yeah day 12 the blade and it's like the Charlie Brown Christmas. Everybody gathers around and starts singing. Ooh. The lighting of the Christmas tree. Yeah. <laughs> the lighting of the. I like Crimson this dog. idea. <laughs> I like this idea. Yep. Cool. Uh, you can store it all in one of the, the crates. Sure. Lightsaber crates. Yep. Ah. I just flowing. We're going to have a, we're going to have an I'm geek lightsaber and we're going to have 12 days. 12 lightsabers. Well, days of, days of lightsaber. Saber. Oh, days of lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> Just sign us up for your marketing team. We got you covered. <laughs> you got it. You got it. With uh, with Chris uh, with Chris plug in my sound effects. Yes. <laughs> Blade it. Blade it. Blade miss. Blade miss. I would totally have those sound and effects. Swoosh. I want swoosh on there too. Swoosh. swoosh. I did uh, back uh, a while back. They had that R two D two recordable lightsaber, like at Target and stuff. I don't know if you saw yeah. that, but I would go through there and like record into it. I am geek, and then people would pick it up and be like, "I'm geek, I'm geek, I'm geek." It was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I would just go through the store, but that was before the, the days that we're in now. I guess I shouldn't be like talking into different products and stuff. Sure. But anyways. I do. I do want to come up and see the place. Hopefully, the world will get a little bit back to normal, and I can come come up and check out uh, Crimson Dawn in all its glory. Since I'm not too far away from you, uh, but we'll have to. I shock you though. We're we're, uh, we're up in God's country. It's a little surreal up here. <laughs> there's I'll... like uh, we have high fences with deer, and there's cows everywhere, and it's uh, it's it's different. That's cool. Well, yeah, it's Texas. There's ducks and sheep mm-hmm. and horses and and the whole nine. Yeah, when I first moved to when we first moved to Texas and we flew in to check it out, um, I'm like, what is this? Where, what is this? Where place? are the cowboys? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, like where's all the cows? <laughs> where's everything? It's weird. It's uh, Texas. We're, we're a walking stereotype up here. There That's what go. it sounds like. Yeah, I like it. I like it. <laughs> 
I'm from Tennessee, so I'm a mountain boy. So you know, just I, I understand. I understand. Well, cool. I didn't want. I enjoyed it. Yeah, Tennessee, Texas. We're like you know, like brothers. Like brothers. <laughs> but one's colder. You guys yeah. are you guys are the cold south. Yeah, one's yeah. colder. That's that's the only difference, really. I mean, David Crockett. Dollywood. Dollywood, yes. Yeah, <laughs> Dollywood. Have you ever been to Dollywood? Yeah, I went to uh, I went to Gatlinburg. I think it was nice. something like that. Oh, cool. There you go. Nice. Gatlinburg is a unique place. It's I like, like the roller coaster. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. they have the some... little mountain roller coasters. Oh yeah, yeah. they're real fun when you're 270 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Dollywood's got some crazy roller coasters now that yeah they're massive I mean they're just like I went on one I'm not a big fan I like I love roller coasters but I'm not a big fan of heights uh, and there's one that was like so high and I was like my vertigo started kicking in I'm like oh here we go <laughs> I guess that's part of it though this is how it ends, this is how it ends. yeah this is the end <laughs> But a good life. And it was like the smoke. It's a smoky mountain. So there was like a fog. So you would go above the fog and then you would come crashing down through the fog. So you didn't know where you were going. But, that would be fun. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, you guys got anything else for Omega? No, we're just excited to have you on and yeah, excited yeah. about what's coming. It's a lot of cool stuff. I'm really excited for an IMG lightsaber now. I, I know. You guys let me know. I, I need to. Designs. I am working on designs right now. I think there are four that are still uh, on paper and uh, one that's in machine. Cool. We need more. We need more. Oh, well. So if you guys design one, I just got uh, a three or four page contract you have to sign that says that we're going to produce it and own all the rights to it. No problem. Just sign it right here and we'll be good. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> To get your first no child. Problem. <laughs> wait, wait a second. <laughs> I just want to, yeah, just have my own lightsaber so I can say it's mine. I mean, I don't, I don't we can, have. Uh, we can make it in three different colors, and, and you'll each have your own. You oh. each one will be for mm. three twentieth. Nice. Never. Brian gets hot pink. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Favorite color. No. <laughs> uh, uh, do you guys do any, um, or have you? You do need etching and stuff there because I've I've seen people do etching on their lightsabers, which is pretty cool. No, we don't. We don't do any etching and we don't do any weathering. We we kind of leave that up to the customer. That's um, cool. yeah. We we had looked into some some seracoding applications, uh, and some powder coating type stuff, and we may be revisiting some of that in the uh, in the near future. We talked about putting a plate line in for, for some anodization stuff. Um, and if we get into that, that that'll change that'll change the game. But but right now we, we we're not doing that. It's cool to sort of weather your own stuff, and because I like to do that too. Um, what's 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 interesting about weathering is that if I do it, you're going to critique everything that I did. Yeah. I, I did too much here and not enough there. If you do it, it can look. It even look like junk. You just <laughs> messed it all up. But you're going to be showing me how it adds character and all this other stuff. But <laughs> if I did it, you know, like you want your money back. You did it. You're going to find a way to love it. Yeah, there you that's go. true. Yeah, that's true. True. <laughs> well, cool. We know that you are a very busy man, and you probably should be making lightsabers right now. So we don't want to keep you all night. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm, I'm on a two hour break from making lightsabers. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Uh. Well, we'll let you get some rest. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else, guys. You got anything else? Chris? Uh, uh, I don't know. If there's just something interesting above his head, but I won't mention it. Um. Oh, above <laughs> his head on a whiteboard, maybe? Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Mm. Yeah, Words. If you're, if you're just listening to it, go to our YouTube. <laughs> That's true. You won't, you won't see it yeah. if you're listening. There. <laughs> there could be a I coupon limited code. limited that. <laughs> yeah, there could be a coupon code hidden somewhere on the screen. <laughs> I'm curious to see how long it takes to use all the ticks. Yes, <laughs> we, shall, we shall see. We shall see. Well, this will be up on YouTube, so you can check it out if you're just listening to it. Um, and then when you check it out on YouTube, you can actually see some of the cool lightsabers. And make sure you go to crimsondawn.com. 
Uh, where else can they find you? On all the um, social Everywhere. Uh, mm-hmm. We are on, uh, we're on Facebook. Uh, like I said, we have the Facebook group. We're on YouTube. Uh, we're on Instagram. We're on Snapchat, but I'd prefer you not to snap us there. Send us a message somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> Snapchat disappears. Uh, you don't know how many times people have a customer service question via Snapchat. <laughs> and, you know, it's like, That's so weird. Yeah. It's, it's the weirdest platform to communicate with someone about a problem. Yeah. Uh, They've got a dog face with a tongue lapping. <laughs> right, right, My right. lightsaber's not working right. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a baby. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're on, we're on, uh, we're on all uh, forms of social media. Uh, and, you know, the, the, you know, the website and, you know, via email, call me, text me. Uh, stop by, send pigeons, whatever, smoke signals, however you can get a hold of us. Uh, definitely, definitely do so. Cool. Very awesome. cool. Well, thank you. I'll, I'll, before you get, before we, uh, before we hang up, I'll show you something, but after we get the recording, just so don't, ha- don't hang up. Anyways, thank you. Thank you so much, Omega, for joining us again on I Am Geek. And we can't wait to see all the cool stuff that's going to come out. And I and I and make sure listeners, watchers, to check out their Black Friday sale, whatever it's going to be. Who knows? Who knows what's coming? And then there's going to be more stuff coming. And then we'll be back here. Will we be back here next week, guys? Oh man, it's Thanksgiving. It's next Thanksgiving. Week. Oh, wow. Are we? We will have a Geeksgiving episode. We could do it early, right? Sometime. Yeah. 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 We will have a geek. So make week. sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am Geek Show. Yes. And click that bell. <laughs> to find out when we're Smash be that like button, as the but kids also say. Subscribe on wherever you listen to podcasts, and you'll yeah. you'll get the latest. I am Geek wherever you listen to podcasts. I am Geek Show on YouTube, and then all of our social medias is I am Geek Show. So, and then make sure you go to crimsondawn.com and check out all the cool stuff that they have. And then hopefully, maybe one day you will be seeing an I am Geek uh, lightsaber with special. <laughs> Chris Street fonts. I mean, <laughs> we'll know that we've made it then. I will. I could. Yeah. I, I will have made it. That would be my ultimate goal. <laughs> not us. Right. No, not I mean, like for me to have a lightsaber. I'm like, well, there's nothing else. There's nowhere else for me to go. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's when I retire and move to uh, an island like Luke Skywalker did. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, this has been episode 170 and I am geek. And we'll be talking with you sometime next week for Geeks Giving. So we'll see you next week. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.